What is up Lego gang? Nicole here back at it again for another video. Today is May 1st which means that it is a Lego release day. More specifically all the new Star Wars things come out today. I am here at the mall parking lot per usual but yes I am here to pick up some of the new releases hopefully get another gift with purchase and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and yeah we're gonna have a ton of fun today. Also I might take you on some little adventures little side quests if you will and yeah so come along with me let's party look at my shoes how cool are these Woo! yeah i got my mini fig shoes on that means i mean business Now I'm at Target because I want to see if they have the space plushies. I'm going to need one of each. All right, we are locked and loaded. Let's put these all in the All right, got my bubble tea. Well, that didn't really last very long because I just chugged it all. I don't even know if I had time to taste it based on how quickly that flew down my esophagus. I left the Leica store. I was in there for like an hour and a half. I get so distracted in there. I honestly have a lot of fun with the employees too. But then I was kind of standing there and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a giveaway? I have done small giveaways in the past, like poly bags and minifigs and things, but I've never done like a substantial giveaway ever. And I believe that when you're given good things in life, it's important to pay it forward. And I've been really lucky. I've saved a lot of money um, in some respects by being in LAN and receiving a lot of the sets that I do. Um, and that doesn't go without being grateful. I am extremely grateful for that opportunity. And I just think that with the money that I am saving, it would be really nice to give you guys something back. Put up a poll on my Instagram just now for, I don't know, like to see what people would want to get in a giveaway. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to wait for that poll to play out or do I just pick what was winning at the time of this video. And so I don't know. I. I don't know if I really want to do another trip to the mall later on in the week. You know what? I think I should just go in and get it. Okay, there's no point in coming back to the mall. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab the prize now. I got it again! <laughs> they also just opened up a Uniqlo in my mall and I now want to check it out. Why is this blurry? I now want to check it out. Oh my god, they have these really cute Lego t-shirts, but they're for kids! How cute are these though? I wonder if they would fit me. All right, this is my second Lego trip of the day. Someone please stop me if I go in a third time. If I go in a third time, just cut me off. Okay, so we're gonna continue my tour de Lego with a small little side quest to Boston Brick. Now we are at Walmart and I'm going to try to see if I can find the TIE Interceptor poly bag because I really, really want it. So let's see. Honestly, if I were a shirt, I'd probably be this one. How silly is this? What screams America like a bald eagle with Massachusetts in the background? Although I do really like this. Some quality merch here. What about a nice dice shirt? Nice dice. I got really confused because I haven't been to Walmart in a while and I guess they like moved the Lego aisle a full like two aisles away from where it used to be 
and I was like very concerned. I was like, is this the end? Like, are we done here? But no, like it was alive and well at Walmart. Oh boy, no dice here. I don't even see the mini pigs, the CMF 26s. I don't even see them here. So I think we've hit a dead end here at Walmart. Oh my God, stop it. They brought back Furbies. <laughs> This is like my nightmare. Yeah, I'm just testing to make sure that this audio is actually clear and working. Some of you complain that I have crap audio, so I'm here to make some improvements. Hi, hello, I am back at home. May the 1st was a release day. I actually realized at 9 p.m. that it was actually my three-year Lego anniversary. I really got started collecting Lego three years ago on May the 1st. I remember it, it was a Saturday. I bought R2-D2, which was so exciting. And like, I actually have my first haul picture, which is right here. Like these were all the goodies that I bought. Some would say that I went hard on that first day. It never really ceases to amaze me how I continue to just spend money on Lego. But here we are, I still do it. And I do it willingly and happily. And it's a hobby that has brought me a lot of joy over the past few years, and I hope to continue for a very long time. I'm gonna show you everything that I bought. I bought a lot of things. So I'm just gonna get into the haul because I feel like it's just gonna go easier if I just get into it instead of just like procrastinating. First stopped at the Lego store and I wanted to hit that 160 to get the like big GWP, the Trade Federation Troop Carrier. I already got one through LAN, but I wanted to have a sealed one. Just, I don't know, for maybe a giveaway or maybe to sell one day to like offset what I spent today. My first stop into the Lego store, I bought the Tantive 4. I don't have any of the midi scale ships. Like I didn't, go and buy them on day one because I knew that I wanted to get double points on them. So I waited until today to get them and I'm really glad I did. These are so reasonably priced and I think that they look really good. I wanna collect more of these. I bought the Star Destroyer last year, so I wanna just keep collecting these. And you know your girl had to get a Millennium Falcon, so I did buy the midi scale Millennium Falcon. And I think this is just gonna look so good on display. I'm not quite ready to build my UCS set. I know I always show the box and I always, Threaten to build it, but I'm not quite there yet. I wanna make sure that my room is organized before I introduce this like gigantic set. Not looking at the Eiffel Tower or anything, but yeah, I wanna make sure that I'm fully organized before I build that. So this will be a placeholder in the meantime. And I'm really excited about this one. Like I feel like you can't have Star Wars without having a Millennium Falcon. And I actually don't have a Millennium Falcon built. I have the play set from a couple years ago and I have the UCS, but I haven't built either one of those. Um, so this will fit perfectly for now. And with those two purchases, I qualified for the AAT poly bag as well as the GWP coin. And where is it? And I did get the Trade Federation troop carrier. So goal achieved. Also got a full set of the CMF26 minifigs. I really wanted these. So the first two brick scanners I was using just didn't work. Note to you, if you are looking for these, Figure Finder is the one to use. I just found it by Googling it. It's actually just like on your phone, on Safari or whatever you're using and you just type in Figure Finder and you can just scan it directly from your phone. It's not an app or anything. I got a full set of 12. I'll let you know if it worked, but I did help a friend out who was looking for a full set in the store. I helped him scan. We were both like dual scanning just so that it would go by quicker. And when he got home, he did tell me that he got a full set. So I am 99.98 percent sure that that website actually works. So I think I have a full set here. Mall has a Target in it and I just got back from Switzerland on Tuesday. And while I was away, I was like kind of panicking because everyone was showing me pictures of like all of the space things that they were finding at Target, like plushies and keychains and bricks and water bottles. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss it all. Like it's all gonna be sold out by the time I get home. I ended up going down to Target and I did find some of the space things and I am just so thrilled that I was able to pick some of them up. So let me grab them because there's a lot. 
first things that I grabbed was the orange space guy. I know they also had a blue one there. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in, I think it was like either November or December of 2021, Lego and Target had a collaboration and they actually had blue, white, red, and pink. So I grabbed all but the white one. I don't have the white one. Now I need to go get it because I'm a completionist crazy person. Wanted to make sure that I got the orange one, so I got him. And then he also came with this little alien buddy, which I absolutely needed to have. I think this is like one of the little figures in the city set. So I had to have him. While I was there, I found these Lego Spacemen keychains and I couldn't not, I just dropped one. I couldn't not get all four of them. So they came in red, pink, blue, and orange. And I think these are so cool. And they're little flashlights. I've never had a Lego keychain flashlight. I find like four different bags to put these on. Um, but I especially wanted the pink one just because I have one of the pink Lego backpacks and I thought that this would be really cute on it. I audibly gasped when I saw this purple box with a handle. Like, like I said, back in 2021, they had these and I think they had them in yellow and red and navy blue, but I only grabbed yellow. And then they also had this like clear trans blue one. Um, so if you're wondering what I do with these, I actually use these as like decoration on my shelf sometimes. Like I use them on the bottom of my shelves or I'll use them as like background stuff. So I do um, use these quite often and I like to have as many colors as I can. In the dream world, in my head, I thought that these would look really cool, like just maybe displayed. I'll show you what I mean one day. I also grabbed a trans purple um, water bottle. Can never be too hydrated. I did admire the fact that it opens so that I can put ice in here. I don't know if you're like me, I can't drink water that's not iced. It's just like a problem I have, but then the cap is also like Lego. So it's like this thing. I mean, I figured I can bring this to conventions. It's not like terribly um, invasive and doesn't take much space. And yeah, I can stay hydrated so I don't pass out. Also found these gigantic Lego bricks. I got a white one and a blue one. I think these are the only colors that they had. But again, like I said, I like to use these as decoration. I do put things in them, so don't worry, they're not just sitting there empty. But yeah, I do use these as decoration, like I said before. And so I need to have like as many colors as possible. Um, but yeah, I think these are really cool and they're very useful. You can actually, what a concept, like you wouldn't believe you could actually stack them, so. I like to say this is fashionably functional. And I was able to pick up two of the Lego Ideas insect sets. Now these I think retail for maybe 79, don't quote me on it, but they were marked down to 39.99. And so I was like, oh, I definitely have to grab two of these because again, like I can either give these as a giveaway um, or I can sell them or, you know, something. I don't know. I just couldn't pass up a good deal on them. But when I went to the register to actually scan them, they rang up for $20. So I bought both of these for 40. It was absolutely insane how I got so lucky, but I actually have the set already. Um, I haven't built it yet. I am planning on building it when I do have some free time. But yeah, make sure you check your target clearance section. I don't know, this was like a totally random thing that I, did not expect to see on sale. So Box Lunch just opened up in my mall, so I had to hit it up. And I got this pod racing jersey. Um, I actually already bought this before and I lost it. Like I actually think I left it maybe at the gym. So I went to go buy it again. I bought like a really large size because I wanted to wear it oversized. Um, but while I was there, I also saw the Darth Maul one, which I didn't see before. And I was like, I kind of want them both, but I really don't want to spend, I think they were, they were $49.90 each. So I didn't want to spend $100. Um, so I was kind of like walking around being like, maybe I wasn't meant to have the Skywalker one. Maybe I just don't deserve 
to own it again considering I lost it. One of the employees came up to me and he was like, hey, like, what's your phone number? I can look up to see if you have any like box lunch dollars or whatever. Um, and they were also like buy one, get one 30% off. I ended up buying both of these jerseys for, I think it was like $15. Like I just had so much box lunch money. I had discounts. I had like a coupon for like $5 off. Extremely happy. I definitely hit my stride yesterday with the shopping. Like I just kept finding these things on sale. It was nuts. And as I was leaving the mall, I noticed that they just opened up a Uniqlo. I think I've been like in and out of one once, but I've never like actually gone in. And believe it or not, they have Lego merch. Like I was completely shocked. I was not expecting that. It was like they were waiting for me to come in. So I ended up getting this Lego play shirt. And on the back it says build, unbuild, rebuild, repeat. And I thought that this was really cute. I especially like the caterpillar type thing on the front. The second shirt I got was this white one and it just has like a pocket with bricks coming out of it. The catch though with these shirts, they only came in children's sizes. I was very excited to squeeze myself into some children's sizes. Now I should add the entire time I was in the Lego store that first time, I was contemplating doing a giveaway. As it's my three year anniversary, I just felt like paying it forward. I think I mentioned earlier, maybe in the car, I've been really lucky with my Lego hobby. I've been blessed in so many different ways. And so many of you support me more than I could ever have imagined. I wanted to do something to just kind of like give it back in a way, like you guys support me and it's only fair that I, you know, give gifts back to you um, when I can. So I put up a poll on my Instagram and I was like, hey, here's a wall of Star Wars. Um, which set would you guys want me to give away? Of course, a lot of you were like, UCS, UCS. And I'm not like that big time, guys. I don't make a lot of money doing Lego content creation. So like maybe one day I will be able to do that. But right now I can't. First, Lego UCS set that I ever bought when I started collecting was the day that I started collecting and it was the UCS R2-D2 and I thought that no other set would be quite fitting for my first giveaway than the MIDI R2-D2 and weirdly enough I think this actually looks better than the UCS set like don't come at me I really do think it looks better so I did buy myself one as well. So you and I will both get to share in the pleasures of having a new R2-D2 set. But with that, I did qualify for another AAT poly bag, the coin and the GWP. So it was like a pretty decent haul, but um, yeah, I will have more information about a giveaway. I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. Stay tuned. I will probably do an announcement soon on how I'm going to do this. So before I left for Switzerland, I may or may not have gone a little wild on whatnot. Uh, I think it was whatnot con. I say that that was my excuse for just like going completely ham on whatnot, but I did come home to just like so much mail. And so I figured I would just open it with you guys and show you what I got. And to be honest, I don't even fully remember what I got. So I'm just gonna take guesses as to how nuts I went. So this first one I think is from my friend Jean. She had her first whatnot stream and I bought the very first thing that she ever sold, which is Maple's Poly Bag. And she also included her little tile. And um, yeah, I now have another Maples Poly bag. I'll probably frame this and be like, this was Jean's first sale and I bought it and I bid, I bid like hell people. I bid like hell I wanted it. This next one, I have no idea who or what this is. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, so Lego um, sent me a code to try out their new Build-A-Fig um online thing and i was able to build my own minifig and let's see i don't even remember what i truly built this is so freaking cute so i built a dinosaur wearing a bow with a pretzel and did it come with an accessory oh yeah i got this little cute cat cats are freaking awesome but i got this like cute little cat that goes with it and for some reason they included a luggage tag did I, did I order this? I don't actually remember, but I now have a cute Lego luggage tag for my Lego luggage. Why did I buy this? Why did I do this? Where, why, where, where did this come from? Anyways, that's exciting. I'm 
pretty thrilled that that made it here. Next up is from Pick a Penguin. I honestly think I just showed up to people's random whatnot streams and just like had a compulsive buying spree. I don't even know what was happening. Oh, I remember what I got now. I got a chrome pink Vader, like a bubblegum Vader. Oh, and then I got this clear trans purpley Vader. And then I got two droids as well. I ended up spending like less than $50 on all of these, which is not bad considering I got these like two exclusive faders. Next, I definitely know who these are from. These are from my good friend, Brick Love. He actually does my tiles and he's going to be doing my mini figs soon. Oh my God, why did I order so many things? What is wrong with me? Okay, all right, Nicole. For all the things I ordered, I got Sakura, Anakin, got a Clone Boy, Harley, Ahsoka, and I got my GWP. What else did I buy from Brick Love? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> we have Eclipse Vader. This one, I think I won a giveaway, if I'm not mistaken. I don't even know, is this Keanu Reeves? Like, I don't even know what's happening here. Next, we have my friend Matt Pino. He has been so generous. He creates these like awesome Lego builds and he sells his instructions on Rebrickable and he's just always been so generous with me. I don't know why, like he's just like the sweetest human being on the planet. He wanted to send me one of his Lego creations. Um, so I have them here. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones they are. We'll build these soon and I'll share them on this channel just so you guys could see it. But look at he included all these cute Pokemon stickers. They're so freaking adorable. We'll die on this hill. He needs to work for Lego. Lego, if you ever watch my videos, please check him out and hire him because he is absolutely incredible. Up next we have Bricker Builds. A send me things it kind of works like the lego ambassador network where they will like send me things here and there and i have a lot of reviews for them coming up i just have to like actually edit them and i have to build a couple other things but these were some of their new releases that came out this past week um here we have the new bat weapon this was designed by tyler da silva he's like super talented and then we have this one but i don't know if i can actually share this one so i'm gonna put this aside i haven't heard about any embargoes and such about that one. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna like put it over there. Um, but this one definitely was released. This is the Joker playing card and this is designed by my good friend, Louis Meany. He's an awesome Lego designer. He um, lives in Australia. He built this like full wearable Mando suit and he's just an incredible content creator now. He's grown so much and I've really enjoyed building his things in the past. Now I get to enjoy another one. So I'll be building these soon and sharing these on this channel and maybe over on Instagram as well. Thank you to Bricker Builds for sending me those things. At least I did want to show a couple other things. Center Network sent me two things from the Lego Insiders program and um, I was just about floored <laughs> when I received them. Um, and so they sent me the... <laughs> I just dropped it. They sent me the Star Wars exclusive 25th anniversary coin. Um, I think that this looks so good and uh, I was really just happy to receive it. Like we never know what we're gonna get from the Lego Insiders program. It's through land, but it's also like a separate division of it. It's not like review offers where we can see kind of like what theme it will be. We can either accept or decline. These are just kind of like gifted to us. The coolest thing that they sent was this Lego poster. Um, I think that this sold out on midnight. I wanted to get another one and give it as a gift to a friend, um, but unfortunately it did sell out. So I guess I'll just be keeping this one, sorry. Um, these were limited edition and I think like only 7,000 or so of them were made. I'm not entirely sure, but I thought that this poster looked so cool and I definitely want to frame it. This is like, a complaint that I feel like needs to be verbalized. When Lego ships posters, they just like can't not ship it flat or like even rounded, like my poster is bent and I've received other posters from Lego as well that have also been bent and I'm just like, please just like be careful with your packaging. Like, especially with things that are limited edition, like if I spent my points on this and it was an exclusive thing, and it sold out and I received a bent poster, like I would be really, really sad. So 
Um, yeah, I wish Lego would just be a little more careful with how they package things, but um, I am nonetheless really grateful that I have this. It's such a cool memento to have. So, um, so yeah. This video is not like too long, um, but yeah, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you picked up for the May the 4th celebration from Lego or whatever you just picked up this week. Let me know what you liked the most out of everything I showed you. And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.